A new way of scanning amputees could save the NHS millions of pounds and produce a better fit for artificial limbs. At the moment, around a quarter of amputees have continual problems as their stump changes shape, and one in six artificial limbs ends up in the bin. But an engineer from Strathclyde University has developed a way of using ultrasound to ensure a perfect fit every time. Our health correspondent, Elna Bradford, reports. OK, well, let's one more time with this. Amazing procedure. Wallace Curry is being fitted for a new artificial leg. I saw an advert for a bin lorry in the, in the job centre, so I thought, well, I'll take it on a temporary basis. And it was temporary because the lorry ran over my, my legs. So lucky it ran over both legs. This, this one healed OK, but this one was completely mangled. After having cling film wrapped around his leg, prosthetic specialist Bill Spence marks the ends of Wallace's bones before putting it all in plaster. It's a rudimentary technique which hasn't changed much in 30 years. General prosthetics and how amputees uh, being fitted with a prosthetic socket depends on the uh, experience of the prosthetist and uh, depends also of the confidence that the amputee has to the prosthetist. Uh, that's, that's why you know, one in four prosthetic sockets go into the bucket every day. Here in Dr. Kapatos' computer simulation, you can see a typical stump. With his new ultrasound technique, he can produce a map of the bone, muscle and fat. Using this, he can work out where to place the pressure. Bone ends become very tender and can't take too much, but the muscles can. The result is a perfect fit every time. The technique is being backed by the Kelvin Institute, which was set up to support inventions from Scottish universities. We estimate that the market in the UK alone could be worth about 150 million, but it also has the potential to transform the whole care of amputees. The number of amputees are rising by about 8% a year because of diabetes and other lifestyle-related diseases. But all going well, this invention could be on the market in just six months. Eleanor Bradford, reporting Scotland, Strathclyde University. If you were in need 